Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host there. It is Team Rai. How is everyone doing out there on this Wednesday's edition? I am doing pretty well. Ladies and gentlemen, before I continue, I have social media accounts. And don't worry, I will discuss that matter after this part of the video is over. Now, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some to eat, or grab some drink. Or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts my opinions on the subject and of course the article will be down below or the link will be down below this one there'll be an article let's get into this you remember wrestlemania 30 great atmosphere great matches great segments if you attended an event let me know down below now what i'm talking about is between taker the future hall of famer at the time Versus Brock Lesnar. Lesnar has been everybody in his path before he beat Taker at WrestleMania 30. There's a great match, but the outcome, it quieted the, the crowd because he ended Taker's winning streak at Mania. And my opinion, it should never happen. I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's Lesnar. I don't care if it's an upcoming superstar at the time. It should never been broken. He should have been 20-0, going to the Hall of Fame a few years later, and that's it. And that'd be part of his speech. But nope, he lost two Manias. He lost to Brock Lesnar, and that, yeah, he lost to Roman Reigns. It should never happen. I'm sorry, it should never happen. I don't mind if Roman beats him, beat Taker, but not at Mania. It should be happening at another event. I don't mind if Brock Lesnar beats Taker, but not that Mania. But that's the way for you. And I think, let me know if I'm right or wrong, that was Taker's decision. And I think McMahon agreed with him at the time. I'm not too sure. I prefer undefeated because no one in WWE will ever, ever come close to their record. Anybody. I don't give a crap who it is. So... I'm glad he's in the Hall of Fame, you know? So, that's all I gotta say. You know, Taker's in the Hall of Fame. Eventually, Brock Lesnar will be in the Hall of Fame whenever he decided to hang up his boots. So, now Jake the Snake Roberts uh, disagree that he says, in his own words, that uh, Taker's winning streak at Mania should never been broken. Now, you agree with him or disagree with him? I don't know. Probably you heard about this on his podcast or not. I don't listen to podcasts at all. There's too many of them. So, and probably he's very famous for doing that. I met him before. I don't know if I ever told you before. He's a very cool dude. Um, I think I got an autograph, not a photo, because that's an extra charge. I mean, I could spend the money if I really wanted to. But I got a little, maybe next video I'll show you. But um, a little bobblehead, and I think he signed it. So that's good enough for me. So everybody's totally different. So let me know what you think about this. Once again, do you agree with Jake the Snake Roberts on his article down below? Or you disagree with him, the article down below? I would just want to hear your really opinion on it. And don't rip it me, okay? And also, on this day, October the 5th, um... 97 and 8 Taker versus Shawn Michaels. The reason I mention this, it was the debut of Kane, 25 years in the making. And ever since that, the rest is history. So let me know if you remember that moment on this day. I think 97, October the 5th, 97. Remember that day. Let me know if you remember that. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys tonight. Oh, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. If you really want to be part of the Robert Show, that's fine, Danny. If not, then don't give me a hard time. Let me know if you want to be part of it. DM me. The link will be down below. Have a good one. I'll see you guys tonight. Goodbye.